right, welcome back to the final round. Let's take a quick look at the markets right now. Big comeback underway on Wall Street. All three majors moving into the green after falling sharply earlier in the session. We'll keep an eye on that as we head towards the closing bell. Now, even with today's turnaround, certainly a volatile week in the market. Still have stocks trying to recover from those losses on Monday. Joining us now to discuss all things markets is Dom Catrambone, the CEO of Vol Shares. Uh, so, Dom, there's a lot of headline risk in the market this week. Obviously, a lot of focus on what's happening with trade. But just to kind of look at the market internal, something that's caught my eye over the last few months is what happens in the VIX, right, with the VIX futures market versus the spot. And that kind of really gets markets hot and bothered. We saw uh, the spot VIX trade above futures late last week, early this week. Is this something that you've looked at when trying to get a sense of where the S&P could be headed? Because it seems like a pretty uh, tight relationship at this point. Uh, yes, very much so. Uh, this week was a very volatile week, and what we saw on Monday was the VIX actually above 30. Uh, and earlier today, it was 12, and as we now know, it's not that anymore, the market's recovering. But we are starting to go into markets now where fear is entering, and investors are feeling that and reacting to that. So, Dom, when you look at the market right now, just in terms of how you want to be positioned, uh, is this a time to be defensive? Is it still a buy the dip environment or is it more of a sell the rallies kind of thing, which would be a, a bit of a character change from what we've seen over the last couple of years? Uh, yes. It, right now, it would be uh, defensive. Uh, our model, which we trade weekly, um, has us in defensive modes such as utilities and real estate. That's coming off of what happened most recently with the Fed and, of course, with the uh, trade tensions going on. It seems like volatility uh, tends to come in waves these days. So how long do you think we're going to be riding this wave, uh, given it's August and we're heading into September? Uh, yes, very much so. If you think about it right now, what we should be doing is uh, August, summer, slow, not much going on. Uh, and it would be picking up come September. Well, that's not happening right now. We have uh, the trade negotiations going on, a lot of things that hasn't happened in the past. Uh, and we're now seeing that anytime there's uncertainty in the world, it creeps into our markets. That is then having uh, fear, which is increasing the VIX. And it is not consistent all the way through. It's very much certain periods of time. Uh, hey, Dan here. Now, let me ask you, uh, volatility doesn't have to necessarily be the same as fear. And for traders, often volatility is uh, exciting and positive. I mean, oftentimes volatility gives you some market action to be excited about, you know, sort of arguably better than uh, a flat day or some of these days we've had in a row where everything just ends down 2%. You are 100 percent correct. And I didn't mean to come out to, to, to say that. I often say that myself to people is don't always confuse volatility with just the downside volatility. Um, one of the things that is great is if you're on your portfolio, uh, we have a model that actually looks into a quant model that looks into it on a weekly basis. And we actually have a lot of trades that are actually on volatility, but to the upside. Mm. So we take advantage of the market while it's volatile on the way up. And what we saw this week, we took advantage of it while the volatility was in the negative zone. And then, Dom, just quickly to get your thoughts on the Fed here. That was a big story driving the market um, pretty much for the last few months. Now, the market got what it wanted to some extent last week. Do you think the Fed needs to be more aggressive or do you think they will be more aggressive as we look towards the rest of this year? Well, what I think with the Fed moving on is what had particularly happened, uh, for example, with Germany today. Uh, they had slower than expectations for uh, their growth. That helped set the Fed in looking at a cut possibly coming in September. So I think now before where you saw the Fed coming out saying they were going to have a safety uh, pick, if you will, now I think with what's happened recently along with what's happening today uh, lines them up more for having some kind of cut in September and probably uh, an another uh, cut before the end of the year. Uh, we've been watching all the activity in gold here, uh, hitting multi-year, um, a six-year high. Uh, VSL has a position in uh, Newmont Gold Corp. It says this week, is that something that you've just added? What's your thinking here on gold? Are, are, are you moving into it in a bigger way? Uh, yes. So uh, thinking on gold is that's one of the positions that I believe people will be starting to move into uh, because it's a position where it's not so much a fear position, it's a nice position to be in to be defensive. 
Uh, and then second, secondly, to ask your question there, we are on a week-to-week -week basis on our trades. So it does have us in gold uh, this week. Um, and I don't, we're not in gold uh, for this upcoming week. All right, Dom Contrambone, the CEO of VolShare. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.